recording, so. Hey everybody, Mr. Lawrence here to let you know that Rocket League tryouts are happening this week. So that'll be this Monday and Wednesday, after school in room C101. If you want to come try out, bring your game face. Uh, we're looking for the best possible people we can for the team. We're looking for a total of 12 people, six for our varsity team and six for JV. So even if you're not super great at the game, you've still got a shot to make the JV team. Come out, give it a shot. I'm Will Pruitt. We took care of business Saturday against Kenwood, one by 30. Tomorrow we play Clarksville at Springfield. Welcome back to WBN Bear News. I'm Taylor Grisham. And I'm Colt Meads, and today is Monday, March 2nd, National Read Across America Day. Also, Dr. Seuss's birthday. Hmm. What up? I'm Colt. I'm 18. And I never learned how to read. This means nothing to me. How did you make it to senior year? Just don't even question that, okay? It's, that's not important. Now for news? Tomorrow, we do not have school because of voting. If you are 18 years or older, make sure to vote tomorrow. Volleyball tryouts are on May 20th and 21st from 4.15 to 6.15 p.m. And again on May 22nd from 9 to 11 a.m. You must have a physical to try out. Please contact Ms. Wilson with any questions. Our Bear Long Rifles team did a great job holding on to third place against the best teams in Middle Tennessee. Callan Green was their top shooter, placing eighth out of 62. The team members were Cameron Drury, Callan Green, Logan Powell, and Candace Perry. They completed last Thursday the first five relays between then and today. This Thursday, they will be competing at the state championship. Rocket League tryouts will be after school on Monday and Wednesday next week. Here's Braden Huff with more info. Well, I think, uh, I think the players will kind of play on each other because with the two teams, we have, we have a level sort of system where with the, uh, with the JV team, they can learn from the varsity team. And also we're going to have uh, coaches alongside us. Like I'm going to help coach the students as much as possible. And so we're just kind of having each player build off each other so they can get better as time progresses. As of right now, it's most, it's only Lebanon. But in the future, we're hoping to have some of the nearing schools also <laughs> join. Well, from what I heard from the school board, if all of their plans go perfectly, then we'll have around five schools or so in total uh, participate, and it's actually going to start branching out to other video games as well. That I think Rock League's awesome, and I think everybody needs to participate, and I think everybody needs to come on. I mean, hey, you could, you could come down and just cheer us on. Hey guys, um, Advanced Creative Writing is taking submissions for Golden Hour, our new creative arts magazine. Uh, we're taking two types of submissions, literature, meaning poetry, short stories, nonfiction, and all that jazz, and visual arts, meaning painting, sculptures, uh, all that cool stuff. So we're also looking for interactive submissions, meaning crossword puzzles, mazes, and like fun games like that. If you have any questions, you can see Ms. Judkins at A112. And the due date is March 20th, so submit stuff, please. <laughs> this weekend, the Mount Juliet Winter Winds traveled to Dayton, Ohio for a WGI regional competition. They not only placed first in their class, but improved their score from preliminaries to finals. Great job, Winds. On March 20th, the Friday after spring break, the MJHS Young Republicans are hosting their second annual Snacks with the State event. 
It's a casual meet and greet with state and local elected officials, and anyone interested is welcome to attend. It will be in the library after school until 4.30. Our current confirmed guests are Representative Susan Lynn, Senator Mark Pody, Commissioner of Education Penny Schwinn, and more. Light refreshments will be provided, so come on by and meet your legislators. And senior superlative nominee pictures are today. If you're a nominee, you should already know your times. One of the superlatives is most studious, in which we have an interview with a very studious student named Hayden Pierce, who got a 36 on the ACT. Check it out. Well, I think it was sophomore year. I took a class with the ACT lady, Miss Beth. She was really awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was really helpful just to get some basic tips down. Um, I encourage everyone to take that. I know quite a few people that have done that. Um, and then I got a personal tutor junior year, and I kept getting a 30. I think I got a 32 times. And then it was this last spring, um, we took this, the junior ACT, our junior ACT, and I got a 34, which was really exciting. I had just been like taking subject tests each, each day of the week leading up to that and I felt just like more confident about what the test was looking for. Um, and I did that again this, this fall in October for the 36. I would say just like keep taking practice tests, getting yourself familiar with what they're asking, the kinds of questions they're asking, get to know your weaknesses so you can conquer those. Each time when I got the 30s, the two times, I was definitely like not disappointed the second time, but just like discouraged. I didn't think it would go up after I got the same score. But then I got a 34 and I didn't think I could do better than that, and then I just did. So I think just looking back, I wish I had more confidence, like going up to each test and saying I can do better even if I did the same last time. Um, but also just going in with the mindset that the test isn't going to like define you or own you, you know? Like the score. I could have gotten another 30 and just had a 30 and it would have been fine either way. And just like going in with that confidence kind of helps soothe the nerves. And that's all for news. I'm Taylor Grisham. And I'm Colt Meads. And here at WBNN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, have a, a majestic, majestic Monday, Monday, MJ. MJ.